Thanks for watching Mid Morning this Wednesday. Some disturbing news heroin use is rising among both men and women. A report just out from the CDC and the FDA shows the biggest increases in heroin use among women and people with higher income levels. In 2013, more than 8,200 people died from heroin overdoses. Wow. It's just a huge number. In Hennepin County last year, we saw 102 people die from heroin or prescription opiate overdoses. Another 42 in Ramsey County, Ashley. And this is, you know, heroin use. It's not the drug user that maybe you have a stereotype on. Yeah, it really doesn't discriminate, Jason. I mean, a majority of heroin users, for the new heroin users, a majority, about 75%, they started out first using prescription painkillers before making that transition to that the illegal Vicodin street drug. Kind of yeah, Vicodin. Sure, because, yeah. I mean, heroin is cheaper. The, the price difference is incredible, man. It is dramatic. I mean, you talk about, okay, so this study talks about two Oxycontin pills kind of being the daily intake for uh, a drug user. Another That'd on the a, high end, too. Yeah, two mm -hmm. pills, 80 bucks a pill, 160 bucks each. For a, a dose of heroin that someone's going to do it a day, 40 bucks. So, I mean, it, it is a fractional difference if someone is a drug user and they're looking to save some money. Yeah. I mean, so they can do more drugs, presumably. Sure, sure. That's and the way they're going to go. Maybe it's easier to get. Might be easier to get on the street right get now. Get it illegally. Right. I, I do think that's the scary part, though, is that you're seeing young young women who are going from being addicted to these painkillers to yeah. transitioning over yeah. to heroin. It seems like until I saw this yeah. study, that was never something that I would put together in my mind. Sure. They seem like two different groups of people. I looked up the murder statistics for Hennepin County because obviously in the news we cover homicide, we talk about it. As a community, when you hear about a murder, you, you get concerned about it. 40 people were murdered in Hennepin County last year. More 40. than 100 died from heroin? More than 100. 250% uh, more died of heroin overdoses. And I wonder if we dismiss it as a problem because we somewhat think they had it coming. They made the bad choice. and they Not that anyone deserves it, but mm. you feel as a society, is there, is there something you can do about it? But there's so much help out there, outreach programs. You have counseling, help for people. I mean, the help is out there. People just have to be proactive and want to get that help. You know, I don't know. I, I don't know how good of a job we do in this country dealing with addiction, dealing with mental health. I think these are some of the areas that we really struggle with, and I don't know if people yeah. are getting those resources. I know they're out there, but I don't know how many people know know about them and are getting access to and them. And there's so much stigma when it comes to mental health in general, when it comes to drug use, that people don't want to reach out and get that help. It's there yeah. for some people, but it's also not readily available for everyone. I wonder how much the fact that the discussion of legalizing marijuana has controlled the national discussion about illegal drugs. I think that's all we have the attention for? I as think, far I think that may be mm -hmm. part of it. I think if you're a legislator or a public right. official, how much are you paying attention to heroin when all the discussion is about marijuana? I don't know. Hopefully pe this report will make people pay some attention. This is sure. a serious deal. Yeah. It certainly is. The U.S. women's soccer team